love you do. honey crisp. favorite. And so, yeah. I wonder what it tastes like. Have to try it out. Yes. Okay. And it'd be a good weekend to go out to maybe some apple orchards or pumpkin patches. Finally. Yeah. Finally, get a weekend. You can go outside. You don't have to worry about the mud. Nice. Well, most of you won't have to worry about the mud. But uh, we are talking about a little bit of rain right now at the coast, and all that will be heading our way to Portland here in those early morning hours. So, seaside right now kind of looks the same as it has been <laughs> pretty much all day. 59 degrees, wind out of the southwest at 16 miles per hour. So light but steady rain. That's what we've seen here. Uh, so far, we've only picked up just a hair over a tenth of an inch of rain since midnight, uh, but it's been the light variety. So that's why we haven't seen any bigger totals there so far. Persistent. Yes, it's a good value to have, but it's also what our weather is doing. So persistent showers in those early morning hours through late morning. Dry tomorrow afternoon. That's right, dry tomorrow afternoon. So this week, could we see our second 70 degree day this month? Yeah, it's possible. I'm going to show you uh, current conditions in Portland 61 wind out of the south at just six miles per hour. Wind direction is going to switch around by tomorrow. It'll come out of the northwest instead. Dew point 53. So today's high we did reach exactly 62, which is our average high for this time of year at Portland uh, record for the year. Ooh, 1949, our record low was 30 degrees. We weren't anywhere near that. Uh, our neighbors to the north still dealing with a flood warning and flood watch for the Seattle metro area over to Olympia. The rain has been most persistent here across northwest Washington, all thanks to this atmospheric river. Right here we have the Hawaiian Islands, and then just follow the trail all the way up to the Pacific Northwest. Does this look familiar? Because we had the same scenario last week. But last week was a little different because we also had a whole lot of instability. This time around, it's just kind of steady, easygoing rain. And that's what we're going to see in our neighborhood. So as we look at radar here across the Pacific Northwest, noticing the bulk of that moisture is lining up right there, seaside, all the way up through central coastline there in Washington and all that is slowly transitioning our direction. The warm front will trail through by uh, tomorrow morning. So as we look at radar right now, most of that rain kind of hanging out again along the coast and also across the coast range. Rainfall totals from now through tomorrow midday. Most of this rain will be totaled by midday. Uh, we're expecting anywhere from a tenth to a quarter of an inch in the valley and possibly a half inch or more along the coast. Even Pendleton, the Dalles, you could pick up a few hundredths of an inch. This is the transition and this is what we're expecting through five, six o'clock. Again, just a nice narrow banner of some steady rain coming through five, six, seven o'clock and then moving on again to the south. So the south end of the valley starts to see some of that rain spread across. Noticing also you're not seeing any white showing up here. That's because our snow levels are climbing up to above 7,000 feet. You're not going to see anywhere near our mountain passes. So yes, that means rain falling on top of the snow that we just got over the weekend. OK, so how about tomorrow afternoon? We're all dry. Bus stop forecast tomorrow morning. 59 cloudy, rainy. Yes. And by the afternoon, nice. Finally, 63. Tomorrow's high at Seaside, 57, and Inland Valley temps in the mid-60s. Morning temperatures in the low 40s, Central Oregon, Eastern Oregon, upper 60s, and in the gorge, waking up to 41, Hood River, 62 for your high, and the Dalles up to 68. So, yes, yeah, some morning clouds and rain, afternoon sunshine for you tomorrow. And look at that Thursday. Yeah is our potential to hit that 70 degree mark. We'll see if we get there, but that would, yes, only be our second. You know, I always day. say this, in late October to get that kind of weather is a, just a treat here in the Northwest. It's excellent, yeah. can't yeah. wait. Right. I love it. Okay, and here's your reminder. We're on at 10 o'clock now too, you know. Well, now we've expanded it a whole 